Hello everyone, my name is Michael, and we're going to be taking a look at target six from our test today, uh, which is uh, release 12413. Uh, so let's take a look. So in the figure below, two squares of side length eight have the same center, and one square can be rotated 45 degrees about its center to coincide with the other square. Then the area inside at least one of the squares can be expressed in the form A minus B times the square root of C for positive whole numbers A, B, and C, such that C is not divisible by the square of any prime. What is A plus B plus C? Now, the first thing to note is that when we when we have two congruent squares in this in this formation, that is, uh, one square is rotated 45 degrees and the two squares share the same center, then this by definition creates a regular octagon right here. So this right here on the inside is a regular octagon, like a stop sign, right? So there we have that octagon and we can see that the other the rest of the figure, right, the rest of the area uh, covered by one or either of the squares is these eight isosceles triangles right here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we also know that all eight of these isosceles triangles have to be congruent. Uh, otherwise, either we don't have two squares or uh, we didn't rotate at 45 degrees, right? So uh, we have eight isosceles right triangles. We can see the right angle and the two 45 degree angles. And we also have a regular octagon. Now, um, we want to find the total area of this region, right? So how do we find the total area of that region? Well, what we can see is that we first need to find the side length, right, of, of something. Um, otherwise, we just have the side length of the square, and that doesn't really give us anything, right? But what we do, uh, excuse me, what we are able to find is the side length of the octagon, which we can also look at as the hypotenuse, right, of one of the isosceles triangles. So what does that give us? Well, let's say that the, the hypotenuse of the isosceles triangle has length x. Right. If we draw one of these triangles, right, say triangle two for the sake of example, um, with right angle here, and we say that x is here, then each of these sides is x divided by root two. So this is x divided by root two. Now going along any side of the square, let's just say this left-hand side, for instance, we can see that we have an x over root two here, we have an x over here, and we have another x over root two here. And those added together, right, make up one side of our original square or one of the original squares, which has length eight. So looking at that, right, we can write the equation that x plus two times x over root two is equal to eight. So x plus root two x is equal to eight. Uh, x times one plus root two is equal to eight. So that means that x is equal to eight over root two plus one, uh, which means that is also equal to um, eight root two minus eight by, by rationalizing the denominator. We know that the hypotenuse of um, one of these isosceles triangles is going to be equal to eight root two minus eight. Uh, and therefore the legs of this triangle uh, or x divided by root two is therefore eight minus four root two. Now to find the total area of this entire figure, we could do octagon plus the eight isosceles triangles and that would work, but off the top of your head, you might not know the formula for the area of an octagon. What is more likely that we will know, however, is the formula for the area of a square, which is simply the side length squared. So denoting the total area that we desire is A. We know that A is equal to eight squared plus the area of four isosceles triangles. Now the area of an isosceles triangle is either one half the leg length squared or one fourth of the hypotenuse length squared. I'm going to use one fourth of the hypotenuse length squared because that cancels out nicely with the four triangles that we have. So that gives us a total area of eight squared plus four times one fourth times eight root two minus eight quantity squared. And we want to simplify this. So this becomes an area equal to 64 uh, plus uh, 128 
plus 64 minus 2 times 64 root 2, which gives us a final area of uh, 256 minus 128 times the square root of 2. Now, right, this isn't our answer, because our answer, right, needs to be, number one, a, an, an integer, but number two, the question tells us that this area is in the form of a minus b root c, which means, therefore, that since 2 is already square free, we know that a is equal to 256, b is equal to 128, and c is equal to 2. So going off of that, we know that a plus b plus c is equal to 386, which is our final answer for target 6. Hey, this is Tim. Hope you're enjoying our videos. If so, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that sort of thing. But what I'd really want to invite you to do is to send us an email at media at mathleague.org. Tell us which problems you'd like to see us cover next in our video series. Take care and see you in the next video.